The People's Democratic Party Governor's Forum on Monday took his swipe at the President Major General Muhammad Buhari retired on the poor state of the economy. The governors who stated this at their meeting in Port Harcourt, the River State Capital, also urged the National Assembly to override the President's veto on the Electoral Act Amendment Bill to ensure a quick passage of the bill into law. The forum said, the bill, if passed into law, would guarantee credible elections in 2023, adding that early completion of the amendment process would save the nation's electoral system. The forum, in a nine-point communic issued at the end of its meeting, regretted that the all-progressive Congress-led federal government destroyed the over $550 billion economy handed over to it by the PDP in 2015 under President Goodluck Jonathan. Reading the communique, the chairman of PDP Governors Forum, Mr. Aminu Tambawa, lamented that the economy had worsened, adding that Jonathan had in 2015 had an over a $550 billion economy, the largest in Africa to the APC government. He said, the Nigerian economy has continued to deteriorate and Nigerians have become numb and accustomed to bad economic news as exemplified by the inconsistent and differential exchange rate regime, high interest rates, unsustainable unemployment figures, and borrowing spree, some of which have not been applied to important projects and other bad economic indicators. In particular, it is clear that the APC government is a massive failure when compared with the records of the PDP in government. The PDP handed over a $550 billion economy, the largest in Africa. But under APC, Nigeria is the poverty capital of the world. In 2015, under the PDP, the exchange rate was 198 Naira per dollar. It is now, under APC, almost 500 Naira to a dollar. In 2015, unemployment rate was 7.3% under the PDP. It is now 33%, one of the highest in the world under APC. In 2015, the pump price of the petroleum was 87 Naira per liter. It is now 165 Naira per liter. And climbing under APC, debt servicing under APC takes over 98% of the federal budget. The tales of war is endless. He said the PDP governors noted that the management of the country's oil and gas resources, the administration of federation account remittance, had remained opaque, confusing and non-transparent, adding that the transition to Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation Limited under the Petroleum Industry Act had not been properly streamlined to ensure that the interests of all the tiers of government were protected, consistent with the 1999 Constitution as amended. The forum's chairman called on the National Assembly to, as a matter of urgency, conclude its actions on the amendment of the Electoral Act by either overriding Buhari's veto or deleting the aspect under contention to allow quick passage. He said, the PDP governors request the National Assembly to quickly conclude deliberations on the Electoral Act Amendment Bill either by overriding Mr. President's veto or deleting areas of complaints. The meeting advised that the option of sustaining Mr. President's veto would lead to a quicker resolution and would deny Mr. President the opportunity to once again truncate a reformed electoral jurisprudence for Nigeria. An early concluded electoral act is vital for credible elections. He commended the new PDP National Working Committee for hitting the ground running with respect to repositioning the PDP into a credible vehicle for rescuing and rebuilding the nation. Tambuwal expressed regrets that the nation was still battling insecurity after over seven years of the present administration, adding that people were being killed on a daily basis. He lamented that the president, from his comments, had not shown much willingness to accept state policing urging him to consider restructuring of the security architecture of the country. The meeting lamented the continued state of insecurity in the country, the persistent and ceaseless flow of Nigeria's blood on a daily basis in many parts of Nigeria, the near collapse of the security situation in Nigeria, 
The strategy is to confront terrorists, kidnappers, bandits, and other criminals is still a major problem of the APC administration. The meeting expressed regrets that Mr. President is unwilling from his recent comments discountenancing the proposals for state policing to participate in reviewing the structural problems of tackling insecurity in Nigeria and urges Mr. President to reconsider his position and consider decentralization and restructuring of the security architecture as the most viable solution together with proper arming, funding and training requirements for security agencies, he said. This is not playing opposition. We know the People's Democratic Party, they are the opposition party. There are two major political parties in the country, APC and PDP, and PDP is currently the opposition party. But I don't think this is playing opposition. They are saying the fact. They are actually speaking the fact, and you can imagine them even presenting figures. They brought out figures. Figures. The, the, the exchange rate in 2015 before President Mohamed Buhari took over. The unemployment rates even the debt rates, everything has skyrocketed. Nothing Buhari has brought down to say, okay, fair enough, um, um, this was the debt rate, it's been reduced. This was uh, the unemployment rate, it has come down. Everything is just skyrocketing. PDP brought out figures, they brought out figures that in 2015, exchange rate was 198 Naira per dollar. Now it's 500 and it's still going up. Unemployment rate was 7.3%. It didn't double. It did not um, even triple. It's gone way more than that, 33%. One of the highest in the world under the All Progressive Congress. And um, the, the fuel pump price it used to be 87 Naira per liter. Now it is 165 Naira per liter. And it's still climbing. What about the debt servicing? It is now 98%. So this Buhari's government, it's not like uh, PDP, they are playing opposition. They are just bringing facts. Well, Nigerians are watching and PDP, they feel right now that um, they have an advantage because of the way President Mohamed Buhari has um, led the country into this um, um, shape. The country is in a bad shape, to be honest. Security. No security. Nowhere is safe. Nowhere is safe. People cannot even travel on the road. Nowhere is safe. And they are making a call. They are calling on uh, the National Assembly to, as a matter of urgency, override the president on the electoral bill. 2023 is not long to go. I know it's all of the politicking that has started. The calculations and the permutations have started. So meetings here and there. And they are making this call to the National Assembly to do the needful. Well, guys, leave us your thoughts. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.